So good morning guys and we're not in a very familiar surrounding. No we're not. Who are we here today with? We're here with Matt Masters from Super Speed Golf. Tell us what you can do with us today Matt. Today guys I'm going to take you through the first stage of the training which is uh, the first protocol we're going to do today and we're going to give you a little snippet at the end of some of the training as well. Indeed so. Right let's go. Okay so we're going to run Adam through these protocol. So what has he got to do first? Okay Adam. So the first club you're going to be using is the green club. Yep, now you're going to do swings with each of these clubs on your dominant side and your non dominant. Three swings, so you're right handed, yep, three right handed swings, followed by three left handed, yep, you're going to do the same with the blue. Yep, do the same with the red. At that point, you might already be panting and you might work out straight. Right. Halfway through at that point, and okay. then then come back to the green. Yeah, you're going to do three dominant, and three non-dominant swings, but this time with the step in. Okay. So we'll do the step ins as well. You'll repeat with the blue and the red, and then you finally come back to the green. Yeah, you're going to do three of the hardest swings you've ever done, just in normal style, and see what kind of numbers we can pick up on the radar. Okay, perfect. That's, that's the first stage. Good. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. It's just three full out swings. Three normal full on swings and then you're going to go swinging that way. You're going to get a left handed grip as well. Yeah. Good. You see a bit more speed there Adam. That's good. Excellent. Right hand on bottom swing straight. So left handed grip. Oh, it feels weird anyway. Keep that club at least 10 inches off the ground. Blue. So, so what weight is this one? Well, the green one you just used was 20% lighter than a, than a men's driver. Yep. Now you're onto the blue, which is 10% lighter. Okay. Yeah, it feels weird to swing that fast. But you were in the tank, right? Still much left handed golf? No. Quite a decent swing already. Three? That would be three. Okay, so now I'm coming to the red pot. That's five for the session heavier. Oh, yeah. And a men's drive, which is just that little bit oh. of extra weight. Yes. Really sort of feels like it turns it up in terms of the weight. And it really goes with this now fast you can swing. Well done. Excellent. Good. Not on the side. I feel like I'm gonna be hitting a fair one. Surprise. I'd work left handed with that one. It's a decent speed. Okay, right, so <coughs> now I'm ready to do the step in. So, with okay. the step, you've never done this before. Have you ever done a step in swing before? Yeah, I've done, done a few, bit of a sort of a training aid for sort of feeling I'm trying to get people to do in less than three for a bit of weight transfer drill. Yeah. Really good. For that reason, of getting that plant into the front of the lead foot, getting that plant in at the right time, you're going to see a spike in the numbers. So when you're ready, give it three of your best. That's decent. Good. The blue. The 
once. 10% lighter than your driver. Speed, well done. Even my grip though. Yeah, finding that left handed grip. The reason we're doing the non dominant swing is to improve your brakes. When you come back to the dominant swing, your body's capability to brake is going to be increased. And then we're going to go faster. Right. You become better at braking, so a lot of people do wonder why we're doing the non dominant swings. That's one of the main reasons. Yep. Keep a few tails. Oh, that's a ridiculous difference in feeling, that. It's only that 5% heavier. So, this is the real essence of over speed training. What you're going to benefit from is some physical improvements, but there's a huge neuromuscular response occurring. Your brain is registering that you're going faster with that clock that's actually heavier. So when you go out the course the next time, you're super speed. You won't do anything different. You're not going to go out and think about doing a super speed swing. A normal goal is the training in the background. Yeah. Your swing speed is increasing because of all the things uh, swing swing that you're doing. The nature of the protocol that you're doing. Coordinate this by this. Go to speed training to so help you go fast. Brilliant. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. A bit warmer than when we started. Yeah, well, three <laughs> more swings to go. Yeah. Let's check the numbers here. Let's see if we get you a really good number and starting number. What's the fastest you can go with a green club? Normal start. Yeah, this is just three of your best normal swings, but don't think about pretty, think about fast. fast. We don't care if you lose your balance, but let's get this as fast as it can be. Number 12. Very good. Let's go fast. Go. 14. Let's go fast. Hit 120. Go. That's it. On 50. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So that's, that's why that's the competition with yourself. And that's why you put the mat down, isn't it? The first thing. Just to admit that. Yes. Nip the, nip the, nip yeah. That. That's brilliant. 158. How long did that take? Seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's, that's, all, that's all the training. Yeah. Benefit of what you've just done there. It's done probably six to eight minutes. On the first beginning of what is past over speed training, that's what we yeah. call it golf in terms of over speed training. You train lighter, started off 20% lighter with the green club, you've then gone to the blue club, 10% lighter, and then you've graduated to the red club, 5% heavier. The neuromuscular response that is occurring is all subconscious, you don't need to know anything about this. As long as you're doing the training correctly, sticking to the protocols as they are on the superspeed.com website or the Superspeed YouTube channel, and then you work through that protocol that we just put you through there for six to eight weeks. In some cases, people just stay with that one and they can get a spike in distance of, you know, in some cases, 30 yards. And for myself, it's 25 yard increase, and that's how I've become so passionate about this product, yet yeah. so involved in it because I know it works. Right, my go this time, and we're going to be using left-handed swings as my dominant swing. <laughs> um, 13 weeks in, I'm not <laughs> sure it's dominant yet, but it's coming, it's coming. So, same protocol, yeah. 115 was your highest swing speed. Can I beat that left-handed? What do you reckon? Yeah. I've got longer legs, longer yeah. levers. Like All right, <laughs> come on, let's go. Okay, let's go for it. This is where you might see. <laughs> Like right. So just, just with the step when you do the step, you might want to go back. Yeah. Just step. So just three normal swings. Three normal swings. But fast. As fast as you can. Number down. I guess I'm not saying it out loud though. Let's dump three. 
together, one forward you go. You can, I mean, for some people they find it difficult to coordinate yeah. to start with, they can get in a normal setup and just move, but yeah. then begin to swing a step forward. But I think it's really nice if you can get that step I'll get back. a bit of a back in the throat, yes. okay. See, see if you can get that. Perfect. Don't worry about the loss of balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not here for pretty, we're here to get faster. <laughs> Really going for it. Oh yeah, we're not playing games. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's always happening. Yeah. Just back comes later. Here's a pro protocol where you can. Yeah, there's a crossover thing. Yeah. Another one. Sorry. Okay, not step back. <laughs> Sounds 
she got? 118. 118. Could have just gone over the corner of your pants, though. <laughs> it's faster, I reckon. 120. Yeah. It's really good. Here it is. 113. It's really, really good. Well done. Woo! Okay, so firstly, thank you very much, man. That was the most enjoyable, wasn't that it? That was a workout. So yeah. I haven't worked that hard at, at, at golf ever. <laughs> ever. And, <laughs> and it just shows what you can do in quite a small space in your back garden. You don't have to go to the range, especially with winter coming up. Yeah. This can be done 25 minutes a week, spread over three sessions, and you can see, hopefully, some real gains. And that's without going anywhere. So it's no money spent going to the range, don't have to be outside for hours on anything, yeah. buckets of balls, just a few times a week. Get really warm while doing it as yeah, well. Yeah. We're out here today, shorts, t-shirt, and everything warmed up very quickly. Exactly, so if we did that protocol, you'd say maybe six to eight weeks? Generally speaking, yeah. about that. Six, six to eight weeks, you'd be looking to maybe start the next protocol. So okay. what would you do for that? The next protocol, you're actually gonna begin swinging on your knees. On our knees. So we'd need something to kneel on. Yes, we would. We would. Well, luckily, as, as if by magic, we, we have, have something some. here. A Super Speed Pro Stability Mat. Exactly. So we're going to now quickly show you what you would do after you've done that level one. So how do you fancy swinging on your knees? Let's go for it. <laughs> Shorten it up a little bit. It's like, yeah, it's like doing junior coaching. Can yeah. you get one off your knee? Swing, you can swing plenty out. Yeah, it looks like you're not great. Nice. Shorts doing the benefits of swinging on your knees. Uh, uh, the main benefits of shoulders, you're going to be able to get the shoulders turning, you're taking out the hips, and you're, you're working this section, you're working on your shoulder capability. That disassociation is not part of it. Exactly that. Still work through green, blue, red. Exactly that. Yeah. yeah. Left handed as well? Yep. For every dominant side, there's always going to be the non dominant side. The protocols are all laid out on the Superspeed uh, YouTube channel and also on their website, superspeed.com. Yeah. You'll feel my like, weight wanting to shift around on the mat as well. So the stability you're going to get from yeah. doing this is, is key also. Um, it, the, it's very important with the training to do it correctly, so checking out the videos before commencing the training is vital really. Unfortunately, there are a few people that I've seen that are doing the training incorrectly and you're not going to gain the benefits. Yeah. The whole benefit of the over speed training is doing it correctly, using the three clubs, working up the weights. Yeah. And the benefits are clear to see for the people who are doing the protocols correctly. Yeah. Right, come on Side. You do dominant stuff. Yeah. have it guys that is level one and a sneak peek of level two protocols yeah so i hope you've enjoyed that we've definitely enjoyed swinging it as fast as we can swing it yes definitely and look forward to doing the training going forwards hopefully up both of our yards just going yeah in and through the
the winter and back into golf season. That's going to be the really interesting. So we're going to definitely do these programs, both of us, for the next six to eight weeks, hopefully moving through that first stage and then second stage of that protocol yeah. and just see where we come out at the end of it. Yeah, definitely. Any gain in yardage is fine by me. Just to finish off with, before we say a massive thank you to Matt, if you do go and buy these products, please make sure you check out the proper YouTube channels, the proper websites, Matt's website, Super Speed's website, because if you get these products, you want to use them properly. There's no point using these incorrectly because you might cause yourself injuries, you might cause yourself damage, yeah. and also you're not going to be doing it as efficiently as you can possibly do it. So we'll make that as easy as possible for you guys. We'll link that in the description below, so just click on those links go through to the proper sites and get the information that you need to use this kit properly. Exactly, and also get your hands on the set. Yes. So, as always, thank you very much for watching from Adam and I. Thanks to Matt for letting thank us come you. down and film. Thank it's you been much. great fun. Yep. And hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all of that fun stuff. And we'll see you down here, PGA Life 365, next time. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Cheers.